Welcome to another edition of Debating is for Life. I am your host, Amr Higazi, and with me today, at long last, my cousin, my own flesh and blood, Mo Tan Salaman. Welcome, Mo. Hey, hey, thanks for having me, Tamara. Thank you. It's, it's a real pleasure to have you on the podcast, and I've been waiting for a long time uh, for this to happen. So thanks for joining. Um, and you also join at a, at a kind of tumultuous time in, in the world. So we're going to talk about some of that a little bit later on. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. I always let my podcast guests introduce themselves. So what should we know about you? Um, well, it seems we're talking to my cousin about who I am, but I, I'll, I'll entertain that. That's no problem. I'm uh, um, <clears throat> Canadian, um, been here all my life. I, uh, my roots are from uh, Egypt. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to be in this, you know, this, this multicultural country um, that I found home for, for all my life. And I've, I've been very, very happy and I, I feel uh, safe. Um, I'm married. I've been married for, oh boy, almost 18 years, I think. I have four children. I've been working in sales for many, many years, over 25 years. And I just feel um, right now that I'm, I don't know, starting a new chapter. I think a lot of people my age feel like certain parts of their life is in chapters. First part is learning yourself in the 20s. And second part is all about starting that family, getting that home. And now it's all about, I think, a little bit more concentrated about me. I, I find more time thinking about me so i'm happy to be here our i guess our story it starts right here um these this is our fathers uh, my dad and your dad brothers who grew up in egypt together and i know that we, we we love our own fathers and we have a lot of love and respect for each other's fathers as well so we've been close since the very beginning you and i there's a picture of us this is you believe it or not wow. but, oh wow yes. <laughs> and that's me. And these are the three brothers, uh, my dad, who came to Canada first, followed by your dad and Uncle Ibrahim, who's still with us. Um, here's another blast from the past. I, I love this photo. We're all in it. Um, look, there you and I are. We were such skinny little twerps. And I remember like in the, in the early days, it was like you and I versus these two over here, yes. the Salama brothers. <laughs> and yes. uh, I don't know about son, I don't know how we survived through our childhood because we were like literally lightweights. How do you think we managed to do it, Motas? Uh, you know, it, it's it's almost an awesome, an awesome segue uh, for this analogy where you have these smaller little cousins and these two conglomerate older um <clears throat> Uh, family members but I, I it, it's funny because I remember uh, the conflict I remember um, dealing with uh, you know these guys but I also remember our resolve I remember our solution and that was to stick together so it's funny. yeah I think we both realized that there was no way out if, unless we stuck together and somehow yes. overcame the adversity together uh, anyway, and I think that that helped us bond together. And uh, I I never realized for for some reason I always thought you were like a few years younger than me. For some reason I don't know why. But then you know <laughs> it was only recently I realized we're actually very close in age, like maybe even just one year apart. So I you're think over it's honestly years. just six months, to be honest with you. Wow, I think anyway, it's six months. Even though we're kind of distant like you know you live in Brampton I live in Whitby and we don't see each other all that often but we still have managed to to get together as a family over the years and you have a beautiful and wonderful picture perfect family and I dare say I do as well and so oh, whenever wow. we get together I, it makes for very nice family photos yes I remember this this is awesome this is this, yeah. this every, everybody's here except for Shelly I think yeah, Amazing. she was working that night, but Christmas at your place last year, I believe. This is Uncle Ibrahim, who, who's wearing the beautiful Turkish jacket. And here, too, like, you know, what do you think of when you see picture this picture here? I think of a happy day. Honestly, I think of a, a day of, of laughter. And uh, we're taking our, our uncle to his favorite uh, restaurant here. And 
it was a it was an uncovered gem to be honest with you i had such a good experience with this place and i know now why abraham loves it um, yeah and so it, it, you know after my father passed away uh, which was just about a year after your dad passed away um uncle ibrahim is all that we have left and so you and i kind of <laughs> this last year or so have been spending time with him bonding with him and it's just, just it's interesting to hear stories from him about childhood with our dads and and the, the stuff that they were up to in egypt growing up and it's i don't know i i feel like it's it's kind of I know it's like he doesn't replace our father, but he's still around, right? And uh, he he knows a lot of information and, and allows us to stay close to our 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 dad. Would you agree with that? I would definitely agree with that. And there's so there's so much likeness uh, in the way that he talks, the way he thinks, his cultural habits. They're very very similar to our fathers, and uh, it, it seems pretty. Uh, weird and saying, but like this is all we got left in memory of our father, this living, breathing individual who spent so many years with our parents that we would have no choice but to see that, you know, and spending time with him, it's almost as if we're spending time with our own fathers. Well, talk about chapters in lives, right? My goodness. I mean, our life really started long before we were born, and 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 he he is aware of that the details of those chapters. So I love picking his brain when I talk to him about the good old days, and I think he likes going back there as well. But you and I, we've spent some time at cottage together, and um, that's your eldest son or stepson. And that's my eldest son, and so we have actually a lot in common, and we have a very similar kind of trajectory. That's my sister. That's your sister. Uncle Ibrahim, we went to the bluffs that day. I don't know why I'm looking like a thug, but it just happened. <laughs> I don't know why it's looking like I swallowed a Tic Tac. That's what it looks like from there. <laughs> Here's a, I like this picture of your family because even though it's a little bit dated, it really shows all of you together looking picture perfect. And here's a more recent one of us together. Um, anyway... So we are connected, and I think we, we've remained connected, and I think this episode is going to be another, you know, I guess, foot, footnote in, in our uh, relationship. So um, let's have a good talk. Are you ready to get started? Absolutely. All right.